Hey guys, K Cell here. Back at you with another Goodwill Benz video. This is in Jackson, Mississippi, and Mobile, Alabama. Again, my friends join me for the Jackson, Mississippi part. All their videos will be linked down below, so make sure you go check out their videos and enjoy this video where I show you the Benz and also show you what I found at the Benz. This is a Benz chains in Jackson, Mississippi. We've got all the Mississippi resellers and Jesse. <laughs> This is the first Ben's change that we were a part of. Look at all those shoes piled up in that lady's hands. She knew what she was doing when she went there. I didn't jump in on this pile of shoes. You can see Alicia kind of right there digging in the shoes. She did find a couple. I'll show you all what she found in a second. <laughs> She'll walk by and we'll see what she found. She found some pretty good brands, actually. But uh, I'm just looking at the clothing here. The clothing I'm looking at is actually also a new Ben. And I'm going to play some audio for you all for a second. I was talking with Jesse. I think I talked with Tanya, Victoria, and then Alicia as well. So I'm going to play some of that audio right here. You didn't go for the shoes? <laughs> I tried to record a little bit of it, but I couldn't get, I, I think I was too late recording it. But uh, yeah, I saw enough of it to know I didn't want to go near it. <laughs> That's what usually happens with shoes, I feel like. <laughs> Except for I've never seen it, well, I've seen it that violent at Nashville before, but. Uh, I mean, I guess I wasn't violent per se, but Nashville, they were, they were pretty crazy in Nashville when I went there one time. Alicia jumped in there. What'd you get? I got me some Bionics and Birkenstocks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I'm getting in there. <laughs> so here is the plush murderer. She's going to give this to her dogs my to destroy. Dogs, I already know my dogs. They're going to grab this and they're going to spin it. So this is the test that I do for the dog. <laughs> That's how you determine if a plush so is good or not. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is my Ben's finds from Jackson, Mississippi. We went and hung out with Alicia from Murray Life, Jess from Gorgeous, Tanya from Double T Treasures, and Victoria from Super Geeked. Got to hang out with all of them. We went and ate lunch after. It was really fun. Uh, it's always fun to hang out with fellow resellers. But this is my haul. <laughs> I think I spent like $13. This hoodie was kind of cool. I'm the luckiest. It was some kind of foreign brand. Uh, whenever I actually Google lensed it and looked it up. As you can see back there. This thing's probably worth... Based on what I saw, like from Terrapeak, there weren't very many listed on eBay. Probably going to sell for around $25 to $30 if I had to guess. This cool ACDC shirt, if this was vintage, it'd be worth like over $100. But as you can see here, it is from 2022. So it's not rare, not vintage, not really worth too much. Probably $25 to $30 for that shirt. Uh, this Blizzard shirt, come on. <laughs> We've got lives to save. Probably also like $25 to $30. It's not vintage or anything, but it's Blizzard. Blizzard is a company that usually does some kind of comic-related stuff. So... Blizzard Entertainment right there. This shirt, uh, there was sales history between $20 and $30, somewhere in that range. It's a bunny. It's from Talbot's, I think. Alicia actually said I should look that up. So I looked it up. There was a stain on it. I actually gave it a wash, and it came out. So that's good. And this Pace jean, or Pace khakis, there weren't very many of these listed at all. And this does still have the tags. I don't think I'm going to call it new with tags because there is one or two marks on it. But in really good condition, khaki jeans or khaki uh, pants. The last item <laughs> was this. Uh, we all looked at this, and I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, shout out, Jesse Shops. <laughs> this is a sweater that's made for you, I think, sometimes. Uh, but this is Party Sweaters Large, December 25th. It's worth probably 20 to $30, somewhere in that range, but I couldn't just let this sit at the bins um, with all the cats. I don't think there's no back hit or anything, as, you, as some clothing resellers say, the back hit is just plain. But yeah, that's it for Jackson Benz. Now we're moving on to the Mobile, Alabama Benz. This was filmed before I went to Jackson, Mississippi, so it's like probably three or four weeks before. This is when I went to flee across Florida. So I filmed on my way to Florida and my way back. So I decided to stop at the Benz. I did pick up a couple items here. I do not pick up this. I couldn't find any information on it. Um, and then I had, I had limited on space. But I did find it some decent items. You can see that right there, that Grogu shirt. I believe I did pick that up. I'm going to go through my cart in a second. I'm also going to do a summary at the end of this whole video, but I do have a decent amount of Ben's footage coming up for y'all to look at. But I'm going to show some of my cart here. That's Grogu or the Child from Mandalorian. I believe it is, at least. <laughs> this sweater was really cool. It's a dog sweater. I don't remember the brand exactly. I might show it right here. The Eagle's Eye. History on that was pretty good for sales, so hopefully mine sells soon. I picked up that shirt as well. I don't remember what was on it too long ago. I never found the matching shoe to that, but when I looked it up, um, it wasn't really worth anything. So I'm glad I never found, or I'm glad uh, I didn't find the other shoe because I wouldn't have bought it anyway. A Stay Lauder, I think that's how you say that. A Stay Lauder. <laughs> picked that up. Overcomer shirt, Mandisa. Didn't see too many of the block print lettering. I think I did pick up Shrek. Uh, these were the best find probably. These Brave Star jeans. I'll talk about them more in the summary once we get there. But 
If you ever see Brave Star, you should pick it up. It's it's a good brand to pick up. <laughs> I also pick up a what pants are those? Oh, these were Mountain Lake. I think they were new with tags, which is why I picked them up. And also some uh, what brand? Oh yeah, Lane Bryant new with tags as well. And I made sure they were in pretty good condition. They look look pretty much new to me. Someone just donated their new clothes. So yeah, that was it for that round of bins. Now I'm going to show you some more of the bins. What stuff they had out. Usually, you know, I go to the bins if I'm not limited on space. Like I had the Camaro this time, so I you know limited to that on space because I didn't think I was going to find too much at Flea Across Florida. And if I did, I had my friend's house. I could just leave it there. I think they would have let me leave it there. And then I could pick it up the next time I came back. I passed on the Winnie the Pooh bear. Pooh is a, in general, a pretty oversaturated item. Pooh is. Some of the other ones aren't in, from that same character family. But usually I'll pass on Winnie the Pooh plush unless they're, you know, unless they're free. Like I got one out of storage unit that sold decently well. Uh, and same with that. That brand wasn't that great. And I don't think it worked. I think someone else had tested it and put it back probably. Can't remember for sure. I do show one or two bins changes here. Um, we'll get to that in a second, but <laughs> you can see some plush I'm passing on. There's a bunch of books there. Uh, books, if I have the time, I will scan them at the bins because you know you're one of the first people to see it other than the people that are at the bins because a lot of this stuff, I think at the Mobile bins, is actually donated to the bins and never makes it to the floor of another store. So yeah, that's it for that one. Had to come back and show you all this. This Top Gun Maverick jacket slash whatever you want to call it, leather, faux leather jacket. Uh, the brand was Legal American is what that was. I'm not sure exactly, but it was really cool. And I got these X-Element motorcycle chaps. I'll show these more in detail in the summary when I talk about that at the end of the video. But yeah, some really cool items there. This was a new Benz change that just came out. Advanced motorcycle, size 42, X-Element. Uh, new Benz change that just happened, so I decided to... You know, I didn't have footage of it back at the books I showed y'all in the previous clip, I think, if I'm looking at this correctly. But uh, I didn't show that Ben's change because I was one of the first people, and I didn't have the GoPro on me, and I'm not sure if they'd allow me to wear the GoPro. I've been told that I can film at this location, but uh, some people don't frown on that, and I didn't want to ruffle any feathers on that day. And I'm starting to actually notice some of the local people that are there every time. <laughs> I gave a little rubber chicken that squawked to one of the little kids that was there that's there, been there almost every time I've go on and uh, I don't know if the other people appreciated it but I thought it was pretty funny <laughs> uh, if I actually played the audio from this which I'm not going to because it'd just be Ben's footage and y'all would, would be bored with that uh, you can probably hear it squawking once or twice this is mainly other stuff uh, like clothing and stuff like that I think this might have been a new Ben's change I don't remember for sure no I don't think it was because there be more people there but this is just random stuff I don't like any of it I pick up a little toy boat there. That doll might have been. I don't think that doll's worth it. Uh, if you see something that's worth it, let me know. I did look at that doll. Um, I did look it up, and it was not worth anything. You'd think maybe, you know, being that old, it'd be worth something. But I looked it up, and it really wasn't worth anything. So I did put it back. I think the selfie rate was pretty low. And what the sales of it weren't great. So I did put that item back. I think I put back most of the items I show you in this <laughs> in this clip right here. Um, I think I pick up one or two more items and I do uh, put them in my cart or whatever bag I had at that point. Usually whenever I get there, there's no carts available anymore. So I have to use one of the reusable bags or I can bring my own bag. The peep, sometimes those peeps are worth it, sometimes they're not. But like I said, this was, I think this was me going to Mobile. So I didn't want to pick up big items and potentially, if I potentially did find something really good at Fleet Across Florida, I didn't want to take that up. And I think y'all might actually see the Fleet Across Florida footage coming up in the next week or two. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I got to figure out what video I'm going to put out then. Because <laughs> this video will be coming out uh, when I'm Still up in Arkansas, I think. Even though I'm going to say I'm done with the footage whenever I show whenever I show the ending clip, I'm still up in Arkansas for another four or five days after this clip is shown to y'all. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll come back in a second and show y'all some more of the Benz footage. Here's some more stuff from the Mobile Benz. The dollhouse, random dolls. There's a plush that I think I actually did pick up, Buttercup. It really wasn't worth much, but I think it might give it to my either my niece or maybe my friend's little girl who is basically like a niece to me in Florida. So Abby, if you want that little guy, his name is Buttercup. <laughs> I did give him a bath. I think I got most of the, I think he's pretty much clean at this point. I might need to get one more bath and just make sure, but 
There's another doll, Barbie doll right there. That thing, I think it was all like things you find at the ball pit, those little balls was what was in that white trash bag. I did eventually, I think I did open the white trash bag just to see. There's a spider for you, Victoria. <laughs> Black and red. I should have looked that up. I filmed this part and then I meant to go back and look up the spider and then I never did. Funny story also, they actually took all the stuff out of my cart at the Goodwill bins here. They don't like me here, <laughs> I don't think. They took all my stuff out of the cart and threw it back into the bins. I had to go and rescue all my stuff because it was on the wrong side. They never say what side you're allowed to be on, but apparently if you go on the wrong side, they're going to throw it away. That Chicago Starbucks bear was really cool, but I didn't pick him up either. Now we're going to go to a bins change. This is a new bins. Right as they go, everybody just goes. And yeah, <laughs> it's decently orderly at first, at least. Uh, this wasn't, this was a pretty calm day actually for the mobile bin. Sometimes there's more people, sometimes there's not. I do pick up one item here. I think you might actually get to see it. I can't remember for sure though, but I look at the clothes. I do pick up that Tommy Hilfiger jacket slash sweater, uh, zip up, full zip sweater. Usually the full zips do decently well for me. And it was, you know, Hilfiger was spelled out in there. <laughs> I always debate if I, like, sometimes I just want to sit back and watch what other people pick up just to see what they're picking up. I do, I think I picked that up. That was a, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it's a Levi jacket, uh, jean jacket. Usually those Levi's jean jackets can do really well. I think I have it listed for 60 to $70. I'm not sure if I'm going to talk about it in the summary or not, um, but that was a really good find there as well. And I think I might show it to you all a little bit later, but keep looking at the clothing. You never know what you're going to find. Sometimes... I don't know, some, at one point I had a whole bin to myself sometimes when I was looking through these, but I don't think I pick up anything else from these bins, but the Levi jacket and the Hilfiger zip, full zip sweater slash whatever you want to call that thing, those are the two pickups that I got from this round of the bins. Usually I only pick up like one or two clothing items when it go, comes to the bins because most of the stuff that's in there is just clothes that are going to get thrown away because I think that's what happens usually after the stuff hits the bins like bins is the last chance for most of these clothing so after it goes to the bins it usually goes to the landfill unfortunately but hey I'm rescuing some of it and sending it back to someone that needs it I found my favorite character Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon and a little Kindle I'm not sure if it works or not I did put back that guy but someone actually gave me the Toothless Dragon I'm not sure if they saw me picking up other toys or what, but uh, I'll take the Toothless Dragon. Anytime you can find How to Train Your Dragon figures, especially ones that aren't Toothless, those are worth probably more than Toothless's because he was the main character, so everybody loved Toothless the most. But he's still worth probably $15 to $20. Um, I'm not positive on that. Don't quote me on that. But I haven't listed him yet, obviously. After I came back from this trip, I pretty much left for Arkansas pretty soon after that. <laughs> but this is the last clip for this video, so this is just showing y'all. I did almost pick up that LSU item right there. It was a chip and dip bowl. I debated it, but I did wind up putting it back. This was another Ben's change that came out. A ton of DVDs. I just didn't see any value there. Someone else got a decent amount of video games, and she said she just sells them to a local flea market guy. So unfortunately, I didn't beat her to those. Um, I pick up the anteater, actually. I do pick him up. <laughs> but I do pass on the shark vacuum. I haven't had much... I haven't had any sales yet for the vacuum, so here's the summary of everything I got. These are all my finds from the Mobile Bins when I went there a couple weeks ago for Flea Across Florida. You'll see that video hopefully somewhat soon. Um, but let's go over and go over what I got. This Nike like track, almost rain jacket, I think it is. Got that. I think I spent, between the two days I went, I went on the way there and on the way back. I think I spent a total of like 30 or $40. But these are some of the items I got. Not all of them, but most of the ones I got. Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, this is an Under Armour polo. This X-Element. Motorcycle gear, it's leather chaps, size 42. It's actually not worth as much as you think. I do have a pending offer right now of $30, but since I leave, as I'm filming this, I leave tomorrow to go up to Arkansas. Y'all will probably see this video after I'm already back from Arkansas, but I have to go in and film the videos. So <laughs> this Anteater Wild Republic sold for, or hadn't sold yet. <laughs> I'm in the sold mode for some reason. Picked that up, picked up a Squishmallow, this little guy, a sloth, alien toy story, this Yoda shirt, Kermit, this one's probably worth 25 to 30, I haven't really done much research on some of the other ones, it's Oakland Days hat, it's a different version of Oakland Days, so maybe it's worth a little bit more, and it's not a great brand or anything, it's probably just a remake, 47 brand, this little guy was probably worth 14 or 15, I think, it's like a Mickey Mouse, a uh, putter cover, Auburn Tigers, this Kindle, I'm not sure, um, if it works or not, never tested it, but I picked it up. Didn't cost much. An Ole Miss uh, Sherpa, 
fleece lined. This is the best item. Brave Star. Never heard of the brand before, but resell. I mean, the lowest listed was like fifty nine bucks. <laughs> so I picked these up for sure. And the last item, of course, one of my favorites, Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Someone actually gave this to me whenever we were looking at Ben. So it's always good to make friends with people. Um, I don't go there often enough to actually make friends with people, but I did recognize some people that were there multiple times. So that were there the last time I was there. But yeah, that's it for this part of the video. And thanks for coming along for the video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment with your favorite item that I found. Um, I enjoyed hanging out with all of the Mississippi Reef sellers, plus Gorgeous. <laughs> their links will be down below if you want to go subscribe to them. And I might try and post the links to their videos because they'll probably have their videos done by the time I actually put mine out. So don't forget to subscribe and subscribe. Thanks for watching.